This game will help you practice homophones. That's words that sound the same, but are spelt and used differently. This is the word list that I'd like you to use. If you do have a printer, then you can print it out and make your game cards like that. Otherwise, you might need to do something like cut up an old cereal packet. You'll see that I've done that here. You don't even need a ruler if you don't have one. You can use the side of the cereal box to measure it out. You can then write the words, write them neatly in a pen that you find easy to write in. Once you've made your cards, then choose the number of cards that you want to play with. So for example, you could play with a full set if you're playing with somebody else, but remember that will take quite a long time, or just divide it up into fewer cards. Just remember you need to make sure that you have pairs before you start, then muddle them up and set them out on the table upside down. When you're matching the cards, make sure that the two you select are a homophone pair. So if you do choose two that are spelt the same, those aren't homophones, so you'll need to put them back. When you choose your pairs and you've selected two homophones, make sure that you can describe what the difference is between the two and when you use them. So for example, if you pick up one of the three twos, so that's the different spellings of the word two with the different meanings, then you can describe which one you have and how you use it.